Praise the Lord. This is Reverend Dr. Janet Onolapo, the general overseer of Abana Life Gospel Church. I have come with another word of encouragement for you today. Hallelujah. I'd like to let you know that God is ever mindful of you. Now, let me read a scripture in the book of Job, chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 6 to 10. So now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, From where do you come? So Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro the earth, and from walking back and forth in it. Then the Lord said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a blameless and upright man, and one who fears God, and shuns evil? So Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hedge around him, around his household, and around all that he has on every side? And you have blessed the work of his hands, and his possession have increased in the land. That was the answer of Satan. Now listen, Satan has three agenda. Jesus said it in the book of Matthew, uh, in the book of John, chapter ten, verse ten. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But the joy is this: Jesus Christ also has this agenda to protect his children to keep charge over them now here the bible says that god said i have built a, even the devil himself said it he said you have built a hedge of around him around his household around the work of his hands around everything that pertains to him listen to me this morning don't be afraid you are a child of god don't be afraid don't be afraid i can shout it on the rooftop all the news we hear here and there all over the world can instill so much fear in you. But don't be afraid because God has built a hedge around you. Hallelujah. Now, the question is this. What qualified Job for that hedge? Because the devil pointed to Job particularly. Now, God said to him, he said he's an upright man. He fears the Lord. He shuns evil. So his uprightness and his fear of God qualified him. Now, somebody will ask me, hey, I am not, I'm not righteous, so I, I don't show any evil, though. I am a sinner. Calm down. Calm down. Righteousness we are talking about is not of your works. It's not by how much you can do this or do that. It's not how much you can be upright and right. Jesus Christ made us the righteousness of God in Christ. Second Corinthians, the Bible says in chapter 5 and verse 21, he said, him who knew no sin god made sin for us that he might make us the righteousness of god in christ so what qualifies you is that you have jesus christ as your lord and savior period that was why jesus christ went to the cross of calvary and he shed his blood for the remission of our sins so that we can be reconciled to god so as a child of god who have accepted jesus christ as your lord and savior you are qualified for that age in fact you're already enjoying it it's just that you don't know you're already enjoying it. It's just that you have not realized it. So knock off fear. Knock off fear. Knock it off. Knock it off. You are, you are, you are, you are hedged between. You are, you are hedged in front and behind. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let me tell you. There's another story in the book of, um, in the book of Math, Mark chapter 4. From verse 34 to from verse 38 to 40. I just read a bit of it. The Bible said Jesus Christ told his disciples, He said, Let us go to the other side. And when they started that journey, there was a great storm. He said, And there arose verse 35, a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. Hey, so much storm. Just like what is happening all over the world now. There's so much storm. And the Bible says that the disciples were so much afraid. And they went to meet Jesus Christ. When they went to Jesus Christ, he was sleeping. He was, he was in the ship sleeping. Because storm does not matter. And they said, Master, don't you care that we perish? That's what everybody is saying now. Lord, hey, we are perishing. Don't you care? Aren't you worried? Aren't you concerned? We are perishing. And the master rose up and he told the storm. He said, shh, be still. And the storm ceased. Now, this is the issue. Jesus Christ answered his disciples and he said unto them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Why are 
are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? That's the question I'm asking you today. Don't be fearful. Have faith in the Lord. He has protected you. You are under the shadow of his wings. So be calm and be strong in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to me. He's got you figured out. He's got you covered 24-7. Jesus Christ is standing at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and I. So there's no shaking, there's no fear. Just be calm. Live your life and know that he is with you all way in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No shaking for a child of God. And if you've not given your life to Christ, do so today. Say, Jesus, come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. That's all. You become qualified for the hedge around you. And you can live a life of peace and rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll come again tomorrow or next to give you another word of encouragement. Meanwhile, no shaking. Be calm in Jesus' name. Amen.